Welcome to our latest tutorial on Bitcoin mining using Kudo Miner on Linux. If you've been curious about diving into the world of mining but weren't sure where to start, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up your Linux machine to mine Bitcoin with your GPU. Whether you're a seasoned miner or completely new to the game, by the end of this video you'll have all the knowledge you need to kickstart your mining journey. So without further ado, Let's get started. Visit the Kudo Miner website. I'll also share a link in the description below and download the Linux version of the software. Ensure you're downloading the appropriate version for your system architecture. If you're a first time user, you'll have to create an account using either a Google account, Microsoft account, or with your email address. So go ahead and create an account on Kudo Miner to get started. You'll have to provide your email address as well as enter a secure password to create your account. Kudo Miner will ask you to verify your email address so that you can begin using the platform. Once you're logged into Kudo Miner, you will be greeted by the user dashboard where you can see your current balance, your pending balances, as well as your total balance. From here, you'll also be able to see your entire mining revenue, including commissions, mining, and any bonuses that you receive. You can also get an overview of all devices that are currently running mining software using Kudo Miner. From the dashboard, Go to Devices, and then select Connect a Device. And since you're using a Linux machine, go ahead and select Ubuntu as a type of worker that you want to set up, and continue. Next, you'll have to copy your organization username to paste it into the Kudo Miner app. So go ahead and copy your organization username to the clipboard, and continue. The next step is to execute an installation script from within your command line, and follow each of the instructions when prompted. So go ahead and copy this line of code and then open up your command line terminal and then simply control V or right click and paste it directly in there and hit enter. Assuming that your system has met the necessary requirements, you'll be able to run the installation script right away. You may need to install extra libraries or binaries in order to begin installing the script. Once you have done so, you'll need to select either desktop app or a headless worker service to run the Kudo Miner. In this particular example, we'll be using the desktop app. So go ahead and type in one. And from here, you'll be asked to select one of three different update channels to use between stable channels, which is recommended for most users, and is what we'll be using in this example today, experimental channels, which has the latest features, but could be unstable if you don't know Linux very well. This is recommended for developers and people who are working with their systems and then no auto updates which is for advanced users only but if you're running a mining farm and have multiple devices with GPUs then go ahead and select stable channel that's the version you're going to want to use to ensure that your mining operation is as smooth as possible so type in one and Kudo Miner will go ahead and install on your computer if you are a conventional Linux user you can use the following manual steps for the common method of installing from an apt repository. Kudo Miner offers two different methods for installing on Linux, depending on whether you're running Ubuntu or traditional Linux-based operating system. If you are running Ubuntu, go ahead and use the script that I shared with you earlier. If you're using a traditional Linux operating system, go ahead and follow the steps provided to install Kudo Miner on your machine. I'll also be sharing a link to the installation instructions for traditional Linux users in the description below so that you all can access it. From your terminal, elevate to an interactive root shell as a super user. Next, copy this line to download a signing key to your app trusted sources and paste it into your terminal. Next, copy the next line to add the installation source directly to your app repositories. Next, run apt get update to update your local package indexes so that they include all installation sources. And then next, you can install the software by copying this line directly into your terminal. Once you have successfully installed Kudo Miner, you can use either the graphical desktop user interface, which can be found in your programs, or you can use the command line interface to connect directly to the miner. In this example, we'll be using the graphical desktop interface most users will find it more simple to utilize, so just open it from your applications and you should see it running in one of your processes. Next, 
Go back to your setup device screen and copy the name of your organization and paste it directly into Kudo Miner. This will be your login for Kudo Miner. And click Go. The Kudo Miner graphical user interface will automatically run and begin mining using your CPU and GPU that you have installed in your system. There are a few configurations that we will have to make to optimize Kudo Miner to meet your system's performance so that you are mining with the best possible settings. At the top, you'll see a notification that some workloads are disabled because third-party miners are disabled for this configuration and go to enable because you will want third-party miners to be running. The reason why is because you want as many workers running so that you can perform each task as efficiently as possible. So go ahead and click enable third-party miners. Next, go over to your settings tab and here we'll be adjusting our settings. First, make sure that enable third-party miners is on. I don't necessarily recommend enabling overclocking, but you can do so if you know how to. You might not see a major performance improvement, but it can be useful for some machines. And then click on for automatically enable new workloads. Next, go to your CPU algorithm settings. And as you can see, there's only one option for CPU and that's the XMR rig. So go ahead and click on or enable and then go back and go to your GPU algorithm settings. And from here, you will want to enable each of the different algorithms. So go ahead and enable each of them one by one. In the event that some third-party workloads go down, you'll have another workload there to be running in the third party in the background. Now go back and take a look at scheduling. Here you can choose whether you want Kudo Miner to load automatically when the computer starts or whether you want to keep it minimized in the task tray. I recommend keeping it minimized when the computer starts. That way it doesn't take as many processes or memory. Next you can choose to enable Kudo Miner when a computer is in use or not. I would only enable this if you use your computer a lot and you have different applications running and you don't have enough memory to support the mining in the background. If you don't notice any significant slowdowns when you use your computer while it's mining, then I recommend leaving it off. Next, if you want to schedule usage of the miner at specific times during the day, you can choose to do so and select different days of the weeks or different times of the day. This is helpful if you are, let's say, running a internet cafe and wish to mine Kudo Miner during idle times. But for most people, go ahead and just leave it off. And then next, you can choose whether you want to launch Kudo Miner on startup. It's up to you whether you want to have Kudo Miner automatically run when your system starts back up. If you want to optimize your mining performance and maximize your earning potential, I would just enable it, leave it on. And then next, you can choose whether you want to automatically start mining when the application is started. So go ahead and enable that if you have it launched on startup. And then hit save when you've configured your settings. Now let's go over some of the different menus in Kudo Miner. From the stats screen, you'll be able to see your revenue history. From the benchmarks tab, you can see different third-party workers that are currently running within Kudo Miner. You can see the hash rate as well as the revenue per 30 days that you're earning from each worker. From the jobs tab, you can see each of the different jobs that each of the third-party workers are currently running and whether they're active or disabled. If you find that any of these are disabled, you can click the refresh button to change it back to active. And next, from the history tab, you can see your job history and see all of the completed tasks that your workers have completed. Now let's go back to the Kudo Miner dashboard and go to the finances tab. Now let's go back to the Kudo Miner dashboard and go to the settings tab and then click on payment. Here you'll be able to see the different types of payments that you can receive from Kudo Miner. You can select between Algorand, Bitcoin, which you might already be familiar with, Kudos, Ethereum, and Monero. If you want to mine Bitcoin, go ahead and select Bitcoin. And then for your display coin, you can choose how you want to view your current earnings within your dashboard. So you can choose either dollars or different cryptocurrencies from the menu. If you're mining Bitcoin, go ahead and select Bitcoin so that way you can see your earnings in Bitcoin and click save. And from the top right corner, go to your display coin and select Bitcoin. Now simply restart Kudo Miner and here you can see that Kudo Miner is currently mining Bitcoin with both your CPU and your GPU. Next go to management and devices and here you'll be able to see all of the devices that are currently running within your Kudo Mining farm. So if you have multiple GPUs or ASIC miners running, 
you can see them all under one dashboard. From the pool tab, you can see each of the workers that are running and their workloads as well as the revenue that you're receiving from each of them. From the referral section, you can see how many referrals you brought to Kudo Miner as an affiliate, as well as the total commission and any bonuses that you've earned over time. Within your finances section, you can see the accounts of each coin, as well as your current available balance and total balances. And if you want to withdraw any of them, simply go to wallets and add a new wallet. Select a coin that you want to withdraw, whether it's Bitcoin, Kudos, or Ethereum. Give it a name and then enter the wallet address from where you want to send your Bitcoin to and hit save. And in your dashboard, you'll be able to see the address clearly listed. And then if you want to withdraw your cryptocurrencies, you can go back to your account, click on the cryptocurrency, and go to withdraw funds. And then simply select the account that you want to withdraw to. Enter the withdrawal amount in any withdrawal fees, and then simply click withdraw funds. And now you have successfully withdrawn any cryptocurrency that you have mined from Kudo Miner. From the transactions tab, you can see each of your incoming and outgoing transactions from mining revenue, referral commissions, as well as any withdrawals or deposits that are entering or leaving your Kudo Miner accounts. And lastly, if you're running an organization, you can go to your settings and then go to your users tab to invite other users to your Kudo Miner system. So if you are operating a mining farm and have multiple employees, this is a helpful place to invite them all so that you can all manage your organization's mining under one roof. Congratulations, you're now mining Bitcoin on your Linux machine using Kudo Miner. Remember, Bitcoin mining can be resource intensive. It may not be profitable for everyone. Make sure to consider factors like electricity costs and hardware depreciation. You're now equipped to start Bitcoin mining on your Linux machine using Kudo Miner. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content on cryptocurrency mining and Linux tips. Thanks for tuning in and happy mining. Thank you.